It's August. Today, I will be cooking grilled eggplant with fresh hot sauce and crispy egg. I had to make something, right? First, I'm going to begin by prepping the ingredients, which are all laid out here. First of all, I need Fresno chili. We actually could not find Fresno chilies, but I looked it up on the internet and they said the next closest acceptable substitute is jalapenos. So I need two of these. These vary greatly in sizes. Which one, what are we talking about here? I guess I'm gonna choose like two medium sized ones. We need a garlic clove because let's face it, I will never make a recipe without garlic apparently. Gah. Why? Why? <laughs> oh my gosh, this is making the most mess. So that's gonna probably start a fire later. Four Japanese eggplant. Ugh, this thing. Oh, it wants me to have four and that's exactly how many were in this package. So, four. Three scallions. I don't like this one. Three cilantro and dill and egg. So I need like a choppity chop chop. Okay, the bounty has been washed. Time for some choppa choppas. I have to say, the thing I made last month was amazing. So if you haven't seen that video yet, go watch it and then make what I made for yourself because it was friggin' great. So now we're moving on to the eggplant, which are supposed to be halved lengthwise. So I'm just going to cut off his hat. That's an eggplant inside. And then for the scallions, we're supposed to be thinly slicing them. That sounds like a lot of work. Okay, onions. Gonna throw all the garbage over here. Blech. We also have to deal with the garlic, which was one clove finely chopped, as always. Ugh. Check out all this prep work I'm doing in advance, cause I'm great at cooking and I don't want to end up with a ton of stuff to do at the last second. That looks fine enough to me. We need two cups of cilantro and a quarter cup of dill. Everybody out. So we've got some cilantro. Oh my god, this is not cilantro. This is parsley. Um, so I'm just texting Tim because if he's on his way home from work, Maybe he can pick some cilantro up because I feel like parsley is not a very good substitute. Like it is very different. This must have been a mistake. Like I'm sure this was bought because we thought it was, was cilantro, but it clearly says Italian parsley on it. So while that hopefully gets dealt with, I'm going to deal with this dill situation. <laughs> it smells like pickles or chips. Um, a quarter cup chopped fresh dill. So this already looks like a lot. Um, maybe a bit more. Okay, so I'm not sure what I can do without the cilantro because it really needs that. And let's see how soon I need it. Oh, remaining cilantro. Where was the first cilantro? I don't need the cilantro until later, so dare I get things Started and then hope that the cilantro shows up in time. We're gonna do it fast and loose and we're gonna just go for it, I guess. We're supposed to have a grill pan, which we certainly do not have. My old friend, regular pan. Heat it over medium. We're tossing the chilies, garlic, and a pinch of salt into a bowl. That was a text. Let's see what happens. So Tim is saying that it said that it could be parsley, but it definitely did not say that. So we're 
we're gonna see how this little bit of mayhem turns out. Back to the bowl, tossing in the chilies. Hangy sleeves, not smart for cooking time. Garlic, large pinch of salt. We're tossing the chilies, garlic, and a large pinch of salt in a small bowl, and we're letting it sit for eight to 10 minutes um, because that's going to, I think it's gonna like kind of cure up these peppers. Tim is off to get cilantro. <laughs> so we'll see how this turns out. There's not much I can do until that's done. So now we're gonna start this pan business and Okay, so time for some real cooking. Ah! Well, since we're not doing the full amount, I'm doing a half. I guess I will half this also. Salt, pepper. So I drizzled them with oil, seasoned with salt and pepper, and I'm going to grill, turning occasionally until lightly charred and tender, which could be six to eight minutes. So we're just going to watch that magic happen. I'm turning occasionally. Those look purple. Cooking in the kitchen. Cooking and doing it right. Oh yeah, eggs. There's some crazy thing with eggs that's going to happen. I really do love eggplants. I love eggplant parmesan. I love egg plants in ratatouille. I love moussaka. All wonderful examples of dishes that feature the eggplant. Now to include this one. I just love how stewy they get and how well they absorb other flavors. Okay, so these are looking pretty well done, I'd say. So I'm just going to ah, remove these. Get them onto the cutting board, and then while I'm gonna chop those, I'm going to also get the next ones going. So those can start to deliciousify, and while that happens, I'm going to chop up the first eggplants that we did. So we're supposed to be cutting them on the diagonal in large slices, and then tossing them into this bowl. Ah! So the problem is that they are friggin' hot. They do look good though. Um, so now I can add the rest of the, this is actually gonna be the hot sauce with um, the, the peppers in there. So I'm gonna continue what we're doing with that. Two tablespoons of red wine vinegar are going into the sauce. One tablespoon of honey. So it's gonna be like a spicy sweet sauce, which sounds great. So I'm gonna get these chopped up. So things seem to be in good shape. We have cooked the eggplant and it smells delish and it's in the bowl. The sauce is saucing. Now is kind of when we need the cilantro. So it would be great if the cilantro showed up soon. So we're gonna toss the eggplant in a large bowl with the scallions and half of the hot sauce and the cilantro and dill. I kind of don't want to toss in the other ingredients with the eggplant right now because the eggplant is hot. Who cares, right? Maybe I'll just start. So that scallion. Um, half of the hot sauce is going in here. Um, I don't know if I would really call it like a sauce. It's definitely more w watery than that. So I'm gonna throw the dill in there and now we wait for the cilantro to show up. Whew, so it smells and looks amazing. Really we just need the cilantro in there and then we'll be talking business. So anytime now Tim, anytime. In the meantime, hands, handstand? Can you just be like, cilantro delivery? Cilantro delivery. Yay, we can continue. So now we have the real stuff, so everything can continue and not be ruined. So I'm just gonna rinse these. Okay, so now I'm gonna get to dealing with this. Oh shoot, I was only supposed to put half of the dill in there. Whoops, whatever. So there's half of the cilantro. 
trying to not mash the eggplant too much. So now we're cooking eggs, like someone who doesn't screw up cooking eggs. Salt and pepper. Okay, so we're just gonna let those become eggs. So we want the edges to be uh, golden and crisp. And then we're going to flip them. So I need a flipper. Okay, I'd say we're about ready. So now, and we are removing these. I'm just going to put them on this small cutting board. This is like the home stretch. I'm going to chop the rest of the cilantro that is needed. Eggs are eggs. So now I'm just going to plate the eggplant. So now I'm supposed to cut this these eggs into strips and arrange them over the plate. I'm reaching an, a yolky area, which is so now we are drizzling the remaining bit of the hot sauce over top. And we were supposed to put more of the fresh dill, but that accidentally all went in already. And more cilantro. So that, I think, is done. This is grilled eggplant with fresh hot sauce and crispy eggs. Tim, come eat dinner. So what did you think of that? It was very good. Okay. It was maybe a bit spicy. It was pretty spicy. I really liked the different flavors. I liked the way that there was like acidity in there and I really liked how the eggplant itself turned out and I liked the egg on it. But I thought it was just a little bit too spicy. But other than that, it was decent. The end.